Hey, 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 YouTube. How's it going? Today is finally the day where I'm going to be laying down my seed for my overseeding project. Fall time is the best time of the year to be laying down any kind of seed for overseeding or a full-on renovation. So stick with me to the end of this video to find out the five most crucial steps to prepping your lawn for some seed. And if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving you some bonus tips of the steps that aren't crucial, but they will still benefit you greatly in your overseeding project. Let's dive into this informative tutorial. The first crucial step is to be mowing all this down super short. And the reason we want to do that is because first off, we're not going to be cutting the grass for a good probably three weeks. And the reason we're doing that is because you don't want to be walking around in your newly planted grass seed and disturb it and do some pretty bad harm to it. We're going to be running the thatcher over here to get rid of all this stuff. And we want to get rid of all that stuff because the seed will not have good seed to ground or to dirt contact. And if it doesn't have any dirt, it's not going to germinate. <laughs> I was running the lawnmower through the yard, making passes back and forth, and it kept bogging out and dying on me. And then I remembered a tip somebody told me to uh, have the wheels in the front as high as possible so there's this nice air gap on the front and this nice air gap on the sides. And then the final cut is dropped all the way down in the back end. That way you can get some airflow up into the deck. It can shoot up the uh, grass clippings and it won't bog out and die. All right, the next step that we have, the next crucial step, is to dethatch. And for that, I got my nice Sun Joe dethatcher. So, let's get going. <laughs> Finally, after going at it all day, I got the entire place dethatched. There's a huge pile of it. And it was pretty nice because like we're right here. <clears throat> this crabgrass, it all kind of lays off to the side. So the detacher did a really, really good job at ripping it all up. So now that that important stuff is done and over with, now it's time to lay some seed down. Over in test plot two, I decided to go with uh, some turf type tall fescue, and it says on the label to seed it at about eight to ten pounds per thousand square feet, and I roughly have a little over two thousand square feet, so I'll probably be laying about twenty pounds of it down. And the reason I decided to go with that is because tall fescue does really well in the sun, and this area of my yard gets sun twenty four seven and it is pretty drought resistant so i don't have to be on top of my watering game all the time in order for this stuff to take off all right i got all the seed in the hopper now it's time to lay it down on the yard on the bag it's supposed to say exactly what setting to use for my scott's uh dlx spreader but it didn't say on there so i know it's going to be the two thousand pound or 2,000 pounds. The 20 pounds is going to cover this entire area. So what I'm going to do is just set it on four and I'll just keep going over this area until I have the entire hopper laid down. Well, finally got the most critical part done of overseeding, actually laying the seed down. And now comes critical step number four, which is fertilizer. I got some starter fertilizer from Scott's Turf Builder. It's the triple action. So it has the, I believe it's 
tenacity in there to prevent weeds from growing. I think it's for about six, six weeks. Then it will jumpstart your seed and it will feed it. This covers roughly about a 4,000 square foot area and it's 17.2 pounds. Well, now that I got the fourth critical step done of applying the starter fertilizer plus weed prevention, now it's time to the fifth critical step. And I'm going to be setting up the sprinklers. I have some timers. Got my sprinklers set up. One of those bonus tips that I was talking about. What you can do is, I was going to do this, but uh, ran out of time. You can use this on the Sun Joe. It's a nice scarifier. Basically all it does is till up or whatever and just makes nice little grooves in the grass. I mean, you're not setting it super deep. It will only be like maybe an eighth of an inch down. Another thing you can do which will benefit your yard really great, I didn't have time to do it, is core aeration. Basically what it is, is just this machine goes around and just takes all these like plugs out and by doing that you're basically loosening up the soil more air water is able to go in there get down to the roots and will benefit your grass greatly if you find these videos useful please subscribe to this channel and get more great content later down the road